Hi, welcome to this Anki tutorial. The title of this video is Using Anki to Study Japanese Kana and Kanji Characters. This tutorial is for you if you know the basic use of Anki and want to study Japanese characters. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to download the Kanji Colorizer add-on for Anki. To do this, go to your home page in Anki. Select Tools in the upper right menu. Find the option that says Add-ons and click on it. As you can see here, I have already downloaded the Kanji Colorizer add-on, but I'm going to show you how to do it for the sake of this video. In the top right, click on Get Add-ons. A menu is going to pop up that's going to ask you to install the add-on using a code. To find this code, open up any web browser. In the search bar, type in Anki add-ons. It should be the very first hit. When you click on this, a menu with all the available add-ons for Anki are going to appear. The one that we want is called Kanji Colorizer. Go ahead and hit Control F and start typing. And there it is, Kanji Colorizer Stroke Order Diagrams. When you click on this, you're going to see a description for the add-on. Go ahead and scroll down and you will find a number code. Copy that number code and then return to your Anki page. Paste this code into the menu where it says code and hit OK. Your download time will vary depending on your internet speed and your computer specifications. When it's done, go ahead and hit OK and you can close the menu. And congratulations, the Kanji Colorizer add-on has been installed to Anki. The next step is to change the card type and name in order for the add-on to work. Add a card. Where it says type, click on basic. Go down to manage and hit add. You can choose a basic card type to add. The important thing here is to name this Japanese. Hit OK. And you can close this menu. You should see Japanese appear in the menu. Select that as your card type. The next step is to change the front and back. Hit fields and you should see front and back appear. Rename the front side of the card to Kanji. Click on the back side of the card and rename that to Diagram. Go ahead and hit Save and now you should be able to type in Japanese characters in Anki. And now for the final step, create your own kana or kanji card. So I'm going to maximize this for the video. Switch over to your Japanese keyboard. I'm going to type in the Japanese character for A as a demonstration. You're going to see the Japanese character appear in the kanji field. The moment that you click on the diagram field, the kanji character appears. This also works for katakana characters. Again, typing the Japanese katakana for A. Clicking in the diagram field makes the character appear along with the stroke order diagram. But most importantly, this also works 
with kanji characters. I'm going to type in the kanji character for eating, which is taburu. You'll see the kanji character there. And when you click on diagram, it appears along with the stroke order. With the best part about this feature is that you can delete the kanji field and type whatever you want to type. So you can create your cards typing to eat, or you can add the hiragana taburu. It's entirely up to you. Go ahead and add this card. Exit out of the adding menu. And when you go to your deck that you created the card in, hitting study now, hitting spacebar, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you find some use out of this study method. Thank you.